Enough, Jay! I really don't give a crap about what you learned on the streets. I don't want to hear it. I'd rather take my chances and die out there than stay here and never live at all. You really think you're going to build connections with the government? Rub shoulders with the upper class? You think they'll take you seriously? You're no different from any of the cannon fodder at the bottom of their system. You're going to be fighting a battle even tougher than the one on Hate Street. Why do you think I kept those government suck-ups from finding you in the first place? Listen, it doesn't matter where you go as long as it's not the St. Pavlov Foundation. You could go to college, join a company, a hospital. You'd have a better life than anyone else. <sighs> a better life than anyone else, huh? Listen to yourself. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You finally said what you really think, didn't you, Jay? Our righteous boss and kind-hearted neighbor. But you know what? I'm not interested in comparing myself to anyone else. I actually want to do something meaningful with my life. Something beyond you. Beyond myself. Beyond the whole of Hate Street. And there is nothing you can do that is going to stop me from pursuing my dream. But who's going to help you when you're in danger? Those idiots in white robes? How can you entrust your life to the Foundation and not your family or friends? And all because of some dream you're not even sure you can realize? You know, one day you'll come crawling home and cry about how the world is nothing like you imagined. And I'll just laugh and say I told you so. Then laugh, Jay. Some people are willing to deal with pain, even willing to sacrifice themselves if they have to. If I die out there, it'll be because I chose to. If that's the price I'll pay to protect everyone, then so be it. What happened, sis? Since when did we walk such different paths? Ever since you beat up that voodooist, who tricked me and laughed because I was a human. That's when. You beat him to a pulp, Joe. You forced him to beg on the street. Everyone here is stuck in a vicious cycle. One person tortures another, then he tortures someone else, and so on and so on. It never ends. Well, I think I found a way to break the cycle, and I'm going to try it even if I make mistakes. I know you'd think you can stop anything. Bar fights, arguments. But you can't stop me. Bike's broken. I'll take the Greyhound. They're not running today. Then I'll walk. I'll walk until I get there. Right, Blondie. Ready for a formal in bath? <sighs> I 
an investigator of the St. Pavlo Foundation. I, Matilda Buanish, have a duty to protect the people, even at the cost of my life. Tell me, Matilda, when you come from the man's, are you certain that you have the courage to come face to face with death? Are you sure you're ready to serve as a field investigator? I will do everything I can to protect everyone. With honor and dignity, I will make the Buanish family proud. Run, you idiot! I don't need you to protect me. I don't need your sacrifice. I don't care about your duty or whatever the Foundation says. I don't fucking care. You don't get it, do you? If you die like Holic back there, everything you have, everything you've been through, will be gone for good. Tell your boss that I got in trouble because I didn't follow the confidentiality agreement. Tell her I deserved it. And tell her that stupid big guy over there picked the wrong side and got himself killed. You've done your job. No one can blame you. No, I decline your offer. I will stand and fight until the reinforcements arrive! Just... run. <laughs> Forget about us. Save yourself. Some people are willing to deal with pain. Even willing to sacrifice themselves if they have to. If I die out there... It'll be because I chose to. If that's the price I'll pay to protect everyone, then so be it. I wish... you could have lived a different life. I wish you'd been born into a happy family. That you'd had your own room with a huge bed and lived in a beautiful, fancy house. I wish you'd been a rich girl. I wish you'd been cherished by your parents, and that everyone had been proud of you. I wish you'd never known about the poverty, disease, and war in the real world. I wish you could have slept in a room without a broken window, with a fireplace that kept you warm at night. I wish you didn't have to live in that rundown room I set up for you. I wish you could have worn new clothes. That no one out now. I wish you could have been surrounded by kind and loyal friends. I wish we'd never met. There they are! 